What's going down, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be doing another face shave on a woman. Now, with this face in particular, it's gonna be a little bit different because we're gonna be doing dry shaving. Now, with dry shaving, all that means is no shave oil, no shaving cream, or any shaving gel. Now, when we do dry shave, the hair and dead skin comes off in a lot more dramatic fashion. You can actually see the dead skin and hair falling off the face, which makes for a more satisfying or disgusting video however you guys want to take that. But like I said, the number one goal for dry shaving is to remove as much dead skin as possible. Now, when you remove a layer of dead skin, you're exposing a new layer of skin, which we can properly moisturize, hydrate, your makeup's gonna go on a lot smoother. Just benefits all around from dry shaving. So I hope you guys do enjoy. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, first things first, we are going to touch up our eyebrows, just a super light touching. We don't need to do nothing serious. Just outline them, shape them a little bit. Uh, but I did, this is kind of like a rough draft. There's certain parts of the eyebrow that I couldn't do because of the angle, I couldn't really see them. My hand was getting in the way of the camera. So off camera, after the whole face shaving process was over, I did touch them up again. So towards the end of the video, you guys will see that they are looking symmetrical. They came out pretty clean in my opinion. But throughout the video, if they look a little uneven, it's just because I didn't, it's like a rough draft, you know, so. And moving on to the actual shaving portion of the video, uh, we are not gonna use any shaving gel, shave oils, anything like that. This is Burt's Bees Clarifying Toner. I absolutely love this product. Uh, normally I would use rubbing alcohol, but we're doing a dry shave and I don't wanna overly dry out the skin, if that made sense. So this toner is lightweight. It's mixed with witch hazel and lemongrass. Um, so it works really good for stripping the skin of any oils, any makeup or anything like that. So as far as the actual shaving technique goes, it's not much different from shaving with shaving gel or shave oil or anything like that. We're still keeping that razor flat. We're still pulling the skin. Now her hair does come off in a dramatic fashion. Um, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, I did do a video on this particular client in the past. Now, if you're sitting there thinking like, oh my God, her hair got so much hairier. Her face is just so crazy. No, it's the same amount of hair. It's just dry hair and dead skin clumping up instead of the hair clumping up with the shave oil and shaving gel. I don't know. It just, it looks more dramatic when it's dry shaving rather than having that hair clump up with the shaving gel and shave oil. But it's the same amount of hair, same technique. Um, just be careful if you guys are gonna try this with dry shaving. That's the one thing I do wanna tell you guys, if you're gonna dry shave somebody's face, you don't have that luxury of the razor just seamlessly gliding across the skin. You really have to pull that skin, keep that razor flat, be mindful of any blemishes, any acne, any tight or loose skin, um, and you'll be good. And like I always say, when you're working around the mouth and the chin, the mustache area, you wanna be mindful of each stroke. My suggestion would be shorten the stroke, slow it down a little bit, because around the mustache, the skin's a lot stiffer, it's a lot tighter, but around the chin, you're working around a round object. The skin's softer, it's more bouncier. So just be mindful of each stroke and take it easy. And 
And as you guys can see, her forehead really wasn't that hairy. This is just a lot of dead skin that's clumped up. And I think that's the number one benefit of dry shaving. There's no oil or gel to moisturize this layer of skin. So that dead skin is super exposed. And then when you shave it off, the next layer of skin is exfoliated and the face just feels revitalized as a whole. And right here is a great view of that dead skin and hair just falling off the face. And what's crazy is this is what I call invisible hair because a lot of you guys be like, why are you shaving your face if you can't see it? Well, as you can see, there's a lot of dead skin and hair on the face, even though it's not visible to the naked eye. And if you guys are wondering what's my favorite place on the face to shave, it's definitely the sideburn area. For one, no woman wants sideburns or a hairy face right here. So that's really a luxury for the client, but it's also a luxury for myself because I don't know, I just find this place on the face super satisfying to shave. Now moving on to the post shave treatment, this is very important after a dry shave, like I said, that skin is super exfoliated and exposed. So first things first, we have to disinfect the area that we just touched. Um, rubbing alcohol is perfect for that. I know a lot of you guys don't like me using this, but it, it cleans and protects the client's skin, but also protects me as a barber providing these type of services from bacteria or any potential infections. Next up, we're gonna use some Mario Badescio facial spray. Now, if I'm being honest, I do not like any of their skincare products. Uh, I'm only using this because this is the only spray that I had on hand, uh, but we're gonna use this to kind of cool down and refresh the skin after we just use the rubbing alcohol. And after that, we wanna hydrate and moisturize the skin. So we're gonna use some Birds Bees Daily Moisturizing Cream. Rub this into the skin. Uh, it's gonna moisturize and protect the skin after a nice shave. Other than that, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Uh, let me know if you guys like dry shaving better or the traditional way you guys see me shave a face in the past. I don't know if that made sense, but uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.